I will talk about the Prime Minister's visit in September 2014. Little bit about President Obama's visit to Delhi for the Republic Day event, which was significant. Following that, in September of 2015, we hosted in Washington, D.C., a very important event called Strategic and Commercial Dialogue. It was the first of its kind. It was launched back in 2015, January, and the first meeting took place in Washington, D.C. in September. I'll touch a couple of future events. Prime Minister is coming back to Washington, D.C. next month. And we have the next SNCD, the Strategic and Commercial Dialogue meeting in Delhi this August, end of this August. And my team will all go back to Delhi to talk about SNCD. Very briefly, let me give you a little context. In January of 2013, Vice President Biden spoke at the Bombay Stock Exchange. One key statement he made was the current level of bilateral trade between United States and India stands at approximately $100 billion. He made a comment, I will quote him, he said, there is no reason based on the potential for the two countries for this level of trade not to be five times that, meaning $500 billion. So that's the bit of background. Having, having recognized this unique opportunity, both President Obama and Prime Minister Modi are fully committed to building a revitalized 21st century framework for commercial cooperation. As I said, in January of 2015, our two leaders advanced this vision by launching the first ever India-US Strategic and Commercial Dialogue, also known as SNCD. Secretaries of Commerce and State, that is Penny Pritzker and John Kerry of the United States, and their Government of India counterparts chaired the inaugural SNCD in Washington in September of 2015. Leaders from nearly every US economic agency were on hand to underscore the significance of this whole of government conversation. The SNCD is not a government to government only exchange. It has an important private sector component. That component is the CEO forum. 20 US CEOs and 20 Indian CEOs are advising both governments. From the Indian side, it's Tata and Sons Chairman Cyrus Mistry. From the US side, it's David Cody, who is the CEO of Honeywell, are the ones who are co-chairing the CEO Council. We have launched four key work streams for SNCD. They are smart cities and infrastructure, innovation and entrepreneurship, product standardization and harmonization, and ease of doing business. I do not want to extend my welcome here, so I will keep my remarks brief, as I promised. Maybe the most important area that we are working, my team is working, is the ease of doing business. Arguably the most important item, I have on the list. Many US and international companies are increasingly optimistic about the shift in official tone and increased willingness to engage from New Delhi. But they're waiting to see further tangible progress in India's business climate. Despite encouraging signs, India still ranks lowest in the G20 countries on the World Bank's 2016 Doing Business Report, 
even as some states in India have moved very swiftly up the ranking. We have launched an ambitious program to work to change this equation. Both countries are focused on ways to enhance commercial law development, public procurement, and transparency, while making it simpler to trade across our borders. Improvement in these areas and others can support the Prime Minister's Make in India agenda and help India grow a strong manufacturing economy. In conclusion, think about it. Ten years from now, I believe we will look back on this moment at the time when we fundamentally transformed our commercial relationships for the better. Both governments are fully invested in this enterprise and have laid the groundwork for success. Now is the time to execute and deliver real outcomes. Industry's voice is indispensable in serving as a guide on this journey, and we are deeply committed to further strengthening the private sector role in this conversation. We have an incredibly busy and exciting rest of the year, this year that is. Again, I would like to thank NATA. I'd like to thank all of you, those of you who have given all of your time and uh, volunteered so much. I'm deeply appreciative and honored to be here. I'd like to keep in touch if you have questions about our engagement on the commercial and strategic engagement between our countries. I remain available to continue the conversation. Once again, thank you so much. I'm deeply honored to be here. Dr. Prem Reddy Garu, Pantomidandala, Nalabhai, Yen Midiloj and Minchin at 20 Prem Reddy Garu, California, Lo, Uchina Tarwata, Vajirangan Lo, Elanti Sanchal Nalakusri Karan Sutero, Manandra Kitilsu, Nidukunta Palo, and eight at 20, Oka Marmula Prantan Lo, Jen Minchin at 20, Sri Reddy Garu, Pantomidandala, Debhai Mudulo, Venkatesura University Nundi, Medicine put J. Seru, Rindu the Sabdala, Service Lo, Aidu Vela Kupai Chilku, Rudroga, Sester Chikisani, Nirvahinchan and Jerigindi Ante Kakunda, Vaidya Vidya Dulu Chaduko Daniki, Lakshala Darlan Rupailno, Viralanga and Distu Naru, Prathamika, Vaidjo, Andarki and Dubatu Dalani to twenty days into our Chestuni twenty, Seva Karikramalman and Riki Tilsindi. Alanti, Sunni Hitulu, Maharaja Poshakulu, Sri, Pedalu Goro Nilu, Doctor P. N. Ritigaru, Inati, Karikramulu, Kiloko Panyas and Jason at twenty Manya Sri, Sri, Vine Tumal Paligarni, Satkaristan. Friends, this is not my scheduled time to talk, but I just wanted to say a uh, word of appreciation for Vinay Tumalapalli Redigaru, right? Telugu uh, uh, Reddy, Asala Sisalangana Telugu Redigaru, uh, being in such a good position uh, with uh, President uh, Obama and making the relationship between the, uh, the, the first democracy and the largest democracy in the world. And he really needs to be recognized. I take this opportunity to welcome you. It's uh, from the uh, view of this, it looks like this hall is full. And uh, given uh, the, the beginning of this uh, biennial convention, uh, I'm convinced it would be very successful North American Telugu Association's 
uh, convention of all. So many dignitaries came from uh, India, so many artists, and from all over. I was standing outside for almost an hour and a half taking pictures with so many friends. Uh, and uh, it makes me very proud. So many of you took time from your busy schedules and came here to spend this long weekend. Enjoy and, uh, uh, and uh, entertain yourself, your friends and your families, and all the best. Thank you.